some milk. This video, we're gonna watch our horses OP. That's a good question. Shit. What a beautiful day to be alive. Damn. Oh, I thought he killed him. What I was gonna say, bro? Players have a wide selection of equipment to choose from when specking their character. Okay. Teeth. Bro, I forgot what video I seen from this dude. I, I don't know what it was, but it was something. It was something by this creator, bro. Claws, I forgot. stingers, spikes. Each weapon has distinct advantages and Damn. disadvantages in combat. Herbivore players tend to favor highly intimidating equipment like horns okay. and antlers. In the African ah. meta, things are taken to the extreme. You said the with African meta. The fuck? The African meta. Looks like the elephant, rhino, and cape buffalo. Someone's rocking dog. Some what the fuck? What are y'all talking about, bro? Most threatening tusks and horns in the entire game. Damn. So you might be surprised to learn that one of the most successful builds in the African savanna is the zebra. A build okay. with no obvious weaponry to speak of. True. So what is it about the zebra build that has granted it such a dominant position in the savanna? That booty, boy. That booty, boy. Vanna. We'll answer that <laughs> question and many more in today's video, which was Our sponsored by Curiosity OP. Stream. To answer that question, let's zoom out a bit and just Lozi, I think I knew you were just kidding, you know what I'm saying? Because that would be crazy. I ate someone's car. Just the well. incredible yeah, stats and abilities appetite, of the entire that. Equine faction, including the zebras, Equine? horses, and donkeys. Okay. Let's begin with their stats. Right off the bat, it's plain to see that this is a highly mobility-centric build, Hell with yeah. an above average power stat to back it up. With Damn. slightly above average so intelligence and, and fairly poor defense, HP, and stealth stats, Damn. at first glance, you might think that these stats belong to a rushdown predator, Hell something no. like a wolf or but eagle, wouldn't they have something that can like, overwhelm its target with speed. Wouldn't a, wouldn't a wolf have like stealth though? Some stealth, I guess? I don't know. Maybe. Speed and power. I'm, I'm a noob to the game, you know? I'm a noob. And either finish the attack before the defender has a chance to counterattack, or weave in and out of the defender's Damn. effective range, chipping Yo, away at it on. or tiring it out. Clearly, stats that don't tell the whole story here, as all equines are herbivores. What the hell? So let's delve a little deeper into the abilities and strategies that horses and all their variants oh, utilize shit. to survive. Seeing as their highest stat is mobility, it's no surprise that an okay. equine Damn! plays best defense against the predator. That boy is gone! That is, that boy is gone! Rice farmer beats the big black guy, human lion. What the fuck? My nigga, what? I beat it to no, no, you don't. No, you don't. Why does the emo look like that? It's so squished down. What the hell? Predator player's attack is to run away. Damn. While not technically as God, fast damn. as the max speed of a top tier predator, like builds these are niggas just be running. Just running. Are able to maintain high speeds for much right, longer. Holy. And because of this, builds like the big cat or bear have little chance of catching them without Damn. an extremely stealthy ambush. The horse's trash. specialized hooves grant them a bonus to burst movement speed and allow them to ignore the movement penalties Damn, of rocky really, terrain. The, the likelihood of a successful even, ambush like, is driven even lower due are. to the horse's solid intelligence stat, you know which saying? allows it to engage in herd behaviors, such as individuals keeping watch to alert vulnerable teammates of approaching enemies. Taking shifts keeping watch is really important in a party of horse players, I'm because horses need to spend mass- Oh shit, what the fuck? I was gonna say, bruh. 900 points is crazy, goddamn. ...amounts of time grazing. See, horses did not spec into the ruminant perk, which means they can't extract nearly as much energy from grass as builds like sheep and cows Damn, can. This was uh, an intentional trade-off to keep lame. the build much more lean and agile than ruminants, enabling them to dash quickly and jump great jump. distances. But oh, because shit. the amount of time they need to spend feeding with their heads down is around double that of an equivalent-sized ruminant, there's no God way they'd damn. be able to avoid an ambush alone. If true, they do get true. attacked, the chase begins, and this is where one of the horse's other core abilities comes into play. I ain't gonna lie, me personally, if I was a horse, my nigga, if I was a horse, I'll probably be the fastest nigga alive, bro. Like, the fastest one alive, bro. Like, I don't even care, bro. Like, I would really go to the gym even if I was a horse, nigga. I would really, like, become the fastest fucking horse. Because I feel like if animals knew how to work out they could be faster than what they already are because like you know duh you're black okay buddy let's calm down y'all wonder if whales can give a woman a deadly all right sweating 
Now, I do need to address an inaccuracy I made in a previous video, Whatever. my most viewed video to date. Are humans OP, where I say the ability to sweat Not is uniquely all. human. This isn't entirely accurate. Horses also have the ability to sweat in order okay. to dissipate heat. However, they're nowhere Yo, near as what's efficient. what's up, random person in the intern six? Welcome to the live stream, my boy. Haven't seen you in a while, too. That cooling down via sweating as humans are. For one main reason, body hair. Sweat body doesn't evaporate hair. off of a horse's body as easily it does a human because sweat gets trapped in the hair on oh, a horse's that would body. Be so as annoying. such, what the humans fuck is still. This? Why is bro just like as a human be caressing his head? Pitbulls are the most OP dog. Because sweat I gets guess. trapped in the hair I've on been a in horse's school. body. I feel that. As I such, feel that. humans too. still absolutely crush horses in terms of thermoregulation during Damn. distance running. But sweating is Real. still an extremely powerful ability that massively reduces a player's loss of stamina during a run and thereby greatly increases the potential distance a player can travel. Where did they travel. get these goddamn Anyways, like, if during a chase, from... the horse player finds itself somehow unable to completely avoid an attack, okay. that's when the other signature equine ability comes into the play, hell? their kick. Damn. Now, in relation to more typical combat moves... Y'all think y'all living against the horse kick? Y'all think y'all living against the horse kick? Me, personally? Me, personally? I'm living. Like, I'm... I'm really like different. If a horse like full fledged, like boom, nigga. Like, ah, that hurt. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, that hurt. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not like gonna die from it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really, I really take that shit, bro. Why are you using that emo, bro? I'm f so for real. Use that photo that you used as your PFP on your other YouTube channel. What other YouTube channel? The fucking... Uh... What other one? Like biting, swiping, and stinging. Kicking is generally seen as Yo, a rather... Oh, twins! My twins! Anki attack. You know, I... I... Oh. Eh. Eh. Hell no. Especially since I got a fractured ankle, I'll just kill my... Why? What? Attack style, mostly used as either a desperate oh, combo damn. breaker attempt or the best option available to builds which Yo, haven't spec their characters boxing. to allow for better damn. combat moves. Generally speaking, kicks don't deal that much damage. They're uh -oh. fairly telegraphed and easy to dodge, and they can even throw the user off Why? balance if they miss. What? I, I just realized my shit is not showing. Hold on, y'all. What was the purpose of this man? Generally speaking, kicks don't deal that much damage. Bro, They're fairly telegraphed and easy why to dodge, he... and they can even throw the user off balance if they miss. Why is he trying to kick the dog? For what reason? And how do you still miss and hurt yourself in a process? Hey, I ain't gonna lie. However, if, if we the take... Dog, if the dog was me, I would've... Done to look shit. at the horse's would... kick, we see an entirely different Damn. picture. The horse's ah, kick hits kick with a force it, of boy. around 2,000 PSI, Damn. putting it well above the power of a jaguar bite and just a bit below the power of a crocodile bite. Gosh, Both of those Damn. builds are top tier specifically because of their incredible bite damage. So having a kick of roughly equivalent God. power is... Damn! Oh my lord, like... Imagine really getting kicked by that nigga. Yo, you is it's extremely useful. However, plenty of large builds have no issue dealing damage. Moose, elk, wildebeest, okay. and other large ungulate builds can threaten as... insane damage. Do, they... do, do, do those count as uh goddamn horses though? Like is in the horse category or what? Connect with a charging slam. However, attacks like that are incredibly telegraphed, and most players Why have a decent amount of so practice small. dodging them. In contrast, a horse's damn. kick has incredible damn, frame damage to the point where it's basically unreactable if you're within range, oh which my I God. should add can be deceptively far. Why are they just kicking like smaller animals just because they can? Like, what is that? It makes bro? approaching a defending Why? equine player a lot more risky than most herbivore builds. Damn. However, the horse's kick has synergies that increase its utility oh far beyond God. what can be, be explained careful, by its nigga. base damage and frame damage. Like, imagine when it comes to defending from themselves from attacking they just carnivore boom, players. Equine builds are at a huge advantage. Let me explain. Yeesh. So, most herbivore builds have only two options when oh, confronted boy, with an adversary fight or flight. 
Carnivore players yeah, know this and me. tailor their strategies to take advantage Damn, of the defending player's limited really options. Trying, when wolves hunt large prey, like elk, their main advantage is to break the defending player's nerve and frighten it into fleeing. Okay. They will not commit to an attack if the defending player chooses to stand and fight. However, they will continue to pressure it with bluff chargers and fake outs. What the? How are you scared of that little thing, bro? I was, ugh, come here. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I did see what you said, Lozy. Wild horses are Andrew Tate's biggest fans, bro. Hoping Yo, to bait chill. out the defensive attack. Don't However, do like as that. mentioned before, these counterattacks are slow enough to be dodged on reaction, yeah. quickly lowering the elk's morale, especially as the rest of its herd likely gets further and further away. It's okay. only after a prey animal starts fleeing that these predators will actually Why try to deal damage to fight by attacking the hindquarters to inflict heavy ah. bleed buildup. In order to stop these attacks, most herbivores will once again stop and turn to face their attackers, which just Damn. resets the situation back it's to over the first for phase. Him. Horses, zebras, and donkeys can completely thwart this plan of attack, as their oh, kick shit. grants them an extremely valuable Damn. option, the ability oh to counterattack while fleeing. Since they don't need to oh stop and God. face their attackers Damn. in order to deal damage, and because like, they just be kicking for no reason. Kicks are harder to dodge than horn charges. Zebras have one of the highest KD ratios against oh, lions God. and hunting dogs Dang, in the game. Boy. Oh While it might not be as impressive God. and showy as having huge horns or antlers, there's no denying that this strategy is extremely effective at warding off attacks and escaping yo, danger. Yo, that boy On top of all the other benefits, him. kicking Bro. also allows the equine player to keep its vitals well like out of reach. Like he just clipped it with one kick. Bro was knocked out, everybody scattered around like damn and isn't I exposing wish. itself to a critical hit counterattack like some horn Damn. users do when they attack. It does have its limitations though. Kicking backwards requires specific positioning, which, unless your character yeah. has 360 oh, degree shit. vision, will make your attacks less accurate. And oh, on true, the odd true. chance that your opponent does get in front of you and land a grab before you're able to turn away, Damn. your options to fight back will be fairly limited and nowhere near as powerful. Now, I do want to mention that unlike many ruminant herbivores, which only have lower teeth... What the fuck? What was... Is that real? Powerful. What was that? Now, I do want to mention that unlike many ruminant herbivores, which only have ew, it looks like they like just added it to them. Have lower teeth. Zebras Equine really players do are possess mean. a full set of upper and lower no teeth reason. that are able to deliver quite powerful bites. So they aren't Damn. completely helpless when facing an enemy head on. But nonetheless, the unidirectional <laughs> nature of their strongest attack option does mean that some counterplay is available. Damn. Next, let's discuss the advantages and disadvantages of the different variants of the equine build. We'll start with the horse, the horse, the most well-known of the, the bunch. Horsey. Horses undoubtedly have the best base Damn, stats of the group, with out. Holy higher shit. power and more HP being the most obvious things that That's scale hard. with size. They've also got the fastest top speed. However, perhaps even more importantly, the horse's higher intelligence stat enables cross-species team strategies, which can lead to some incredibly oh, broken combos. Yo. Zebras have a slightly lower base stat total, although okay. this change isn't really enough to affect their playstyle. They're True, still perfectly they, capable really of escaping attacks using their speed and endurance, and punishing overly aggressive enemies with a devastating Damn. kick. In addition to all this though, the zebra's unique stripe pattern grants it a few extra bonus perks. Like because what? this pattern helps break up their outline and obscure their position, especially when grouped up, oh. attacks against zebras incur a slight accuracy penalty. Surprisingly, Damn. this debuff even- Yo, so they got like a illusion effect or some shit. A different uncle of mine got bit by my mom's horse and it picked him up and threat. Damn. Damn. It applies to insects. Uh, no, I don't like it. I don't like Apex. It's resulting in annoying. zebras taking significantly less damage from parasites you know than other similarly sized builds. In exchange, though, the zebra's intelligence stat what is a fuck. A bit lower, to the point where zebras are unable to engage in the same team combos as horses. Hey, Donkeys yeah. are a bit of an outlier group, with the what lowest the power fuck? stat of the group. They that boy is yelling for no reason, They have the bro. highest intelligence stat, but tend to actually prefer solo play. They can Damn. be trained to become a useful party member, but they aren't okay. naturally suited to this style of gameplay. Yo! And although they're quite capable of dishing Damn. out serious damage with their kicks, donkey mains also tend to favor the bite move in uh -huh. combat, a somewhat poorly optimized build in my opinion. Yeah, it's true. no surprise that despite horses and zebras Yo, having quite solid matchups against out. both canid and felid opponents, donkeys end up experiencing a fair bit of difficulty, in part due to their smaller size, but also because maybe they just don't realize the potential power that of a well-placed kick. Put a chunk of my dad's arm up. God damn, who is this horse, my nigga? Why is he so evil? Of the, the three hell? main equine classes, it's a tough call which one I think is the most viable. 
I think they're definitely all at least high B tier. Yeah. Personally, I do think horses take the top spot. Hell and yeah. I'd even give them the rank of low A tier. Low See, A -tier? despite okay. being originally from the North American server, horses have successfully established invasive populations all across God the overworld, damn. including places in Africa that even zebras have difficulty surviving in. What the fuck? This is the premise for the incredible documentary, Stallions of the Namib Desert, which Yo, chronicles the descendants the of a small group of horses abandoned by Yo, World War I soldiers a century ago. This documentary is available to watch right now on Curiosity Stream, the sponsor of today's to watch video. It, bro. Curiosity Stream is an amazing subscription. Yo, W transition into the ad, but I don't care, bro. Watch out, bro. Don't play with me. And until next time, good luck out there. What the fuck? I ain't gonna lie, that boy like tried to get me, get me with that ad.